Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this is Ayaz Khan again. Today, the topic of my um, video would be research proposal or research statements. A lot of time, uh, kids or the student when they approach me, they ask me they need help to write a proposal for any PhD uh, program or degree they, they would like to apply for. Remember one thing, you have to be very clear is it a research proposal or research statement? For research proposals, you would need to write a full flash proposal, which would include everything from what your aims are, what do you want to achieve, what are the pros and cons, the background, methodology, and also the statistics. What kind of specimen you will use, how much, so power analysis basically. Whereas, a research statement is just one page where you write about what would you like to do or what your research uh, you know, interests are. Okay, so let's go to the next page and let me give you a brief introduction again what exactly I'm trying to um, convey the message here. A research proposal is usually for a postdoc. Let me be very honest to you, generally, these are long detail proposals that could take from four to ten pages okay and it includes every single detail including what research has been done and what you have done so far in other words you may even provide some preliminary data like you have done some analysis some data based on that you are proposing this particular uh, proposal uh, research proposal and wherever you are applying make sure they have this kind of technology or equipment or facility and also the expertise that they can really help you to achieve or uh, pursue that research proposal my personal advice to you is if somebody asks you for a research proposal inquire them ask them what exactly they would like to know it would be most probably your search interests especially for phds Okay. For a master's, uh, they could, but I would not uh, you know, expect that somebody is writing a research interest even for a, for a master's. The research interests are usually one to two page. What it includes is what do you like to do? What have you done so far? Uh, basically, if you have done any research work, perfect for research interest, you can write it. But if you have not done it, that's okay. You can read um, the basic journal, uh, you know, um, research in that area and you can say hey uh, for instance you know machine learning you can say uh, these days machine learning or artificial intelligence deep learning uh, this is a topic where you would like to use it in banking or a financial institution or even for any prediction um, that might be uh, you know uh, in your area of interest so these kind of thing you can use and you can journalize it you don't have to be very specific research proposal are very specific one aim or two aims and you are writing about it research interests are more open-ended more easy to write and express okay so that is my next uh, um, uh, slide research proposals are single project they are feasible meaning they should work and they are in depth you have to write about them you have to make sure that whatever background you are um, providing they have a solid background somebody has done something based on those you are doing something new something extra something further uh, whereas research interest could be multiple projects you know like a wish list any open-ended um, interest that you might have i give you an example of using machine learning for banking for any financial institution for long terms um, you know um, outcomes of anything or even predicting something you can use it for image processing, uh, for data analysis, uh, you know, it's so many things. You can even use it in medical field. You can use it even in uh, power distribution. So these are all machine learning, deep learning that you can use those techniques and you can open ended. You can keep it open ended. You're not really providing a specific project. Okay. Now, research proposal. This is something new, meaning 20 percent. I'm again, this is just a number something that you have some people have done it or you have done it 20 percent 
in the past has been done. You want to take on the rest of the 80%. Basically, you're proposing something uh, in your field. You're saying this has not been done so far in these scenarios. Okay, you're not the only person. So let's say you are working in Pakistan and you want to work on power distribution. You may say, hey, people have done it in, in uh, uh, very uh, you know uh, advanced countries or uh, developed countries. This is how they have done it. I would like to do this way or this is how I would like to propose and this is how would I like to um, you know, pursue it. And then you give a proposal uh, and that proposal would be of course covering pretty much 80% or 70 to 80% of the work. Research interests are the other way around. You basically talk about whatever the 80% is done. Most of the work has been done. You are doing something new okay, in future, but you're not specifying it. So basically what you're doing, you're just giving an idea. Okay, so let's let's put it this way. Research interests are just ideas. Proposals, on the other hand, are specific answer to any specific questions. Okay. Now, how do you write a research proposal? What do you need for it? A research proposal probably needs hundreds and hundreds of paper review. So you need you have should have you have you should have done of course some work in your field. You should know your literature in your area of interest in your area of field before you would like to write one in other word you need some preliminary data you need a good literature review and also you need a uh, uh, you know an advisor so especially in this case it would be pakistan so you probably have done a masters uh, and now you're applying for a phd so your advisor has helped you writing some proposals or you have helped him writing some grants this is how you basically are a good become a good writer you just don't read few papers and start your writing your own proposal and you become a, a proposal writer, you know, an expert proposal writer. No, you need a lot of practice. So if you have some experience, based on that experience, you are writing something new, you have done your literature review, and then you basically write a new um, idea and you pen it down. This is how the research proposal are done. When it comes to research interest, you don't have to do a lot of literature review or a lot of research interest, uh, research work. In this case, let's say you read about some good article, a review article, and you write a journalized idea. Okay, I like to do this. Okay, uh, for instance, um, you know, in COVID-19, so any basic science student, if he writes or she wants to write a research interest, she can say, based on my observation in Pakistan, and reading papers from other countries like China, US, UK, I came up with this proposal that I would like to, uh, you know, uh, research interest, uh, small, a small proposal locally that I would like to pursue if I have the expertise and this is how I would like to, uh, you know, implement it. So that is very journalized and this is how it should be, okay? All right, so that is the end of my, um, uh, you know, um, this small video. What I am trying to do here is give you a perspective that research proposal and research interests are two different things. Majority of the time when any university professor or scholarship asks you for a research proposal, you should inquire, do they need a full flash research proposal or they just need a research interest? In my opinion, 99.9% .9 chances they are asking you a research interest. They don't want you to write a research proposal Research proposal takes months and months of work and then writing and then a very solid background that why you are doing it and what has been done and what would you like to do. Okay, And it needs somebody to read your proposal. Uh, at the end of the day, one more thing, you need power analysis, power, uh, you know, uh, statistics, sorry, the statistical analysis how much specimen, how much work you would do, how many data you will acquire. You cannot just say, I would like to do, that's a wish list. Wish list can be in research interest, but not in research proposal. Please leave your comments at the end of the video and I'm more than happy to answer any question, maybe in any follow-up videos. Thank you so much and good luck.